And breaking right now, video released of Mayor Rahm Emanuel and Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson on the proverbial hot seat. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with that breaking news testimony in the wrongful death lawsuit of Quintonio LeGreer. A Chicago police officer killed LeGreer and Betty Jones on the west side the day after Christmas in 2015. The city released video of the deposition late this afternoon. Here's CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli. There's a lot of good police officers. There's a few bad apples. There's Mayor Rahm Emanuel answering a question about the so-called code of silence in the Chicago Police Department. And then there's a knee-jerk reaction to uh, protect a colleague rather than set the standards that we're all trained to uphold. It's relevant because of questions of a cover-up at the scene of the LaGreer Jones shooting. It's the job of the street deputy to get to the facts of the case, but scrutiny is going to happen with, with any police-involved shooting. So. The, the, the job of the street deputy is not to protect him from scrutiny. We know that that's going to occur. But later, Eddie Johnson, who is now the current police superintendent in Chicago, seemed to suggest there is no code of silence. So what I will say to you is this. I've been a cop now for about 30 years. I've never heard police officers talking about, in my experience, code of silence. In my experience, I don't know of any police officers being trained on code of silence. Now, all of this is coming to light today because a jury was seated in a civil suit filed on behalf of the family of Quintonio LeGreer. The family of Betty Jones just settled with the city last week. The sum in that settlement was $16 million. Okay, thank you, Vince.